Welcome, dear traders. So the third trading week of May is coming to an end. Unfortunately, it has not brought optimism or stability to the market. Central banks have to hike the key rates amid global high inflation. The geopolitical crisis and lockdowns in China have fueled market uncertainty. And the US stock market closed in the red again yesterday, literally a step away from the beer territory. Wall Street is now gripped by fears and uncertainty. These two factors are strongly affecting stocks' movements. However, rising inflation is also winding on household incomes. Consumers tend to save money, so the purchasing power is falling. Inflation and supply chain disruptions are likely to significantly slow down in consumer-driven economy. These problems have already hurt the largest U.S. retailers after Walmart and Target had cut their profit outlooks for the year. Ross Stores and Coles, the largest U.S. department store chain, did the same. Shares of the top retailers fell considerably after disappointing earnings reports. Ross Stores stock plummeted by 25%, dragging the S&P 500 index down. The index lead by 19% from the highest closing level of early 2022, namely January 3. As a reminder of a 20% decline from a recent peak is considered by analysts a bearish signal. Economists are also voicing concerns about the inevitability of a recession in the United States and in the year to come. Some of them are sure that it may happen in the second half of 2022. However, in the Asian station, futures on the U.S. stock indexes were still trading in the black. The U.S. dollar was also up in the Asian session, hidden for its worst week since early February 2022, after a 14-week breathless surge and a 10% increase versus its main rivals. The U.S. dollar index seems uh, fatigated and um, is ready for a retreat. Moreover, its appeal as a safe haven asset has eclipsed a drop in the treasury yields for a while. Government bonds lifted lower today, pushing the US dollar down, so it was trading in the price carrier of 102.79 and 103.11. At the time of preparing material for this video, the index rose to the level of 102.92 thanks to a strong upward momentum. Traders are now also worried that the Fed and other central banks have fallen behind the curve in combating super-hot inflation. So they will need to be even more aggressive in a tightening policy. Such a prospect is a negative for the economy, which may slide into recession. The US dollar may also weaken due to decline in the business activity in the country. Unlike the greenback, the yen is highly likely to benefit greatly from a recession not only in the United States but also worldwide. The same can be said about the other safe haven currencies, which have shown an overnight rally following a fall in the MSCI's flagship global equity index. The index has been moving down for the seventh week in a row, the longest in its history. As a result, the dollar yen pair managed to climb to 127.78 for the second time in a row this week during today's Asian trade, the greenback again um, regained the upper hand. The pair was fluctuating slightly within the range of 127.50 and 128.21. At the time of preparing material for this video, it was trading at 128.04. However, there are other factors which influence the yen. There are first signs that the Bank of Japan's dovish monetary policy is not working. Economic problems are mounting, including inflation, Kirk 
Nigerians' Yuma prices in Japan leaped 2.5% in April, beating the Bank of Japan's 2% target for the first time in 13 years. One of the main reasons for such a surge was the weaker yen. It usually serves as a boon uh, to the export-driven economy. However, given soaring commodity prices, it inflates import prices as well. Lockdowns in China also have a significant impact on Asian markets. Recently, there have been some positive shifts in the uh, fight against the virus. However, today Shanghai reported three new coronavirus cases outside the quarantine zones. This is why the city may prolong the lockdown, abandoning plans to ease restrictions. If so, it may trigger a new spike in the prices worldwide. The government has not made any announcements yet. They sent the Australian dollar aged higher amid hopes that business activity could resume in China. Despite Greece's aversion in the stock markets, the Aussie grew against the US dollar by 1.4%. Besides, the Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to raise the key rate soon. In the Asian session, the used to pay bounced from 0.70. The Aussie was able to regain momentum. At the time of preparing material for this video, the pay approached 0.7067, moving between the resistance level of 0.7071 and the support level of 0.7003. And that's all for now. InstaForex TV team work for you. We keep close tabs on the latest market events and share them with you. Please leave your feedback down below and see you soon.